All right, we're back with Tic Tac Dell. Well, Justin has $46,647. He's going to play against Andrew St. Clair. How you doing, Andrew? Great having you. You ready to play against Justin? Uh, of course I'm ready. Okay, good luck to both of y'all. Here are the nine categories we have for this game. And they're the following. We have New Testament. We have the opponent's choice. Rodney's Enough Said, our very special category. We have, we have Weather. No vowels, actors, and actresses. The secret category, y'all know about that. That doubles the jackpot if y'all get it right. We have video games, jump in category, and The Simpsons, okay? Now I will unlock your control, uh, Andrew. Just in case. And Justin, which category would you like to start with? This one with video games. He's going with video games. Your question on the video games is this. Which James Bond film was made into a game in... Let me try again. I think this is repeated, okay? Here's the way the question is supposed to be read. Which James Bond film was made into a game for the Nintendo 64 console and later for the Wii console? Is it A, Goldfinger, B, GoldenEye, C, Thunderball, or D, Moonraker? Golden Eye. Golden Eye is right. Good job. We have $2,000 in the pot and we shuffle. All right, Andrew. Two games for the center, please. Two part question worth $3,000 and we will give you the extra time on this. Here it is. First, which popular video game features an ex? Let me try again. Which popular video game features an ex Special Forces operator named Jack Carver, who who was stranded in Micronesia? Is it A. Far Cry, B. Halo Two, C. Left for Dead, or D. Max Payne? That's the first one. And the second one, which game follows the story of U.S. Army Special Operator Jack Carver? Is it A. Halo, B, Assassin's Creed, C, G Call of Duty, or D, Far Cry. Here's your time. You know what? You know what? I'm going to throw these two questions out. And I, I will tell you why. I will tell you why in a second. We're going to put this question on. I will tell y'all guys why in a second. But here's the question. First one, which popular video game features an ex-forces operator named Jack Carver who was stranded in Micronesia? Is it A, Far Cry, B, Halo 2, C, Left 4 Dead, or D, Max Payne? That's the first one. And the second one, which video game involves a war between humanity and the Covenant? Is it A, Vanquish, B, Halo, C, Final Fantasy, or D, Homefront? Here's your time to think about both of them, Andrew. All right, Andrew, which one you want to start with first? Yeah, I'll go with the first. Which popular video game features an ex-Special Forces operator named Jack Carver who was stranded in Micronesia? Is it A, Far Cry, B, Halo 2, C, Left 4 Dead, or D, Max Payne? D. What's your answer? D. Left 4 Dead? I can barely hear him. Type it in, um, Andrew. He said, C, Left 4 Dead. That's wrong. The answer was Far Cry. The reason why I threw out those other two questions in my stack, because I repeated those that same question twice. So that was only fair. And the other one, which video game involves a war between humanity and the Covenant, is Halo. Halo. So that's the wrong answer. We still have $2,000 in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, Justin. Enough said. He's going with Rodney's enough said. Okay, I'm going to read you some items. You have to tell me 
what that item is. It could be a person, place, thing, object, or anything, okay? Here it is. Whammies, big bucks. Nuff said. What you... That is right. That was easy. Good job. $4,000 is in the pot and we shuffle. All right, Andrew. This could be interesting. Good category to block. All right, you get this question right on the secret category. We'll double that pot from $4,000 to $8,000, okay? Here's your question. Which English word is a combination of the first two letters of the Greek alphabet? Again, which, which English word is a combination of the first two letters of the Greek alphabet? Go ahead. Alphabet. Type your answer and what is it? Alphabet. You wasn't tricked with that one. That is right. We doubled the pot. Good job. $8,000 in the pot. He said alphabet and that is right. I didn't fool him with that one. $8,000 is in the... Eight, yeah, eight thousand dollars is in the pot, and we shuffle it. All right, Justin. Hmm. I'm gonna go with my set. All right, it's gonna be a two-part question worth three thousand dollars, and we will give you the extra time on that. Okay. Here is the first one. The first one. Blue, small, cartoon, Nuff said, okay? That's the first one. And the second one, flying, hogs, foul, Nuff said, okay? Think about both of them. Here we go. All right, Justin, which part you want to answer first? All right, here, here it is. Here it is. Blue, small, cartoon, Nuff said. What do you get out of that? No idea, huh? I have to tell you the answer. Blue, small, cartoon, Nuff said. It's the Smurfs. The Smurfs. And the other one... Fine, hogs, foul, Nuff said. Y'all know that one? Nope. Angry Birds. Angry Birds. Okay. We still have $8,000 in the pot. We shuffle. I played that game in a very long time. Yep. Andrew. Which one are you going with? Opponent's choice. He's going with the opponent's choice. Okay. Okay, and and uh, and uh, um, not Andrew, but Justin. You get to choose which category he gets to do. Okay. All right, Andrew. I um, mean, rather Justin. Do you want him to answer? Yep. Yeah. Do you want him to answer a question on arts and literature or countries? Countries, okay, your question on countries, Andrew. Sapporo beer was first brewed in which country? Again, Sapporo beer was first brewed in which country? M. What did you say? It sounded like I heard a right answer. Type it in. Japan is correct. Good job. We have $10,000 in the pot and we shuffle. All right, Justin. Uh, video games. He's going with video games. Okay, your question on video games. In which video game would the player control an agent of DARPA? Again, which video game would the player control an agent of DARPA? Is it A, Final Fantasy 2, B, Medieval, C, Vanquish, or D, Brink? Vanquish. 
Vanquish is right. Good job. We have twelve thousand dollars in the pot, and we shuffle. I've never played that game before. Yeah, that was good. All right, Andrew. Block. Which, where are you going with? Choice a block. He's going with the opponent's choice for the block, and you get to choose, Justin, which subject he gets to deal with. Do you want him to answer a question on geography or entertainment? I think he might not. Um, geography. He's going geography. Okay, your question in geography, uh, uh, Andrew, here it is. What is the largest lake in Central America? Again, what is the largest lake in Central America? Uh, what did he say? I think he said Lake Titicaca. Is that what you said? That is wrong. That is wrong. Good job, Justin. The answer was Lake Nicaragua. Lake Nicaragua. Right, right. So that's the wrong answer. Let me fix that. All right, and we still have $12,000 in the pot and we shuffle. All right, Justin. He's going with video games. Okay, it's a two-part question. Answer the two-part question right in video games. It'll be tic-tac-doe, $15,000, and your winnings will be at $61,647. Here's your question on video games. First, which video game takes place on a floating city called The Ark? Is it A, Ace Combat, B, Brink, C, Empire, or D, Total War? That's the first one. And the second one, in which video game are you trying to free the Princess Kale? Is it A, Golden Sun, B, Fable, C, Bart's Tale, or D, Dark Souls? Here's your time to think about both of them. All right, Justin, which part you want to answer first? I'm going to go with the second one. The second one first, okay. In which video game are you trying to free the Princess Kale? Is it A, Golden Sun, B, Fable, C, Bard's Table? Let me try again. Let me reread the whole question again. In which video game are you trying to free the Princess Kale? Is it A, Golden Sun, B, Fable, C, Bard's Tale, or D, Dark Souls? Golden Sun? Golden Sun is wrong. I'm sorry. Golden Sun is wrong. The answer was Bard's Tale. Bard's Tale. And the other one, which video game takes place on a floating city called The Ark? The answer on that one is Brink. Brink. So we still have 12000 in the pot. Andrew has been saved and we shuffle. All right, Andrew. Actors and actresses to block. You're going Nova actors and actresses for the block. Take a look at this one. I'll just simply type a uh, Nova actor or actress. You have to tell me. It's all good, Andrew. Don't need to apologize. You have to tell me the actress, and I'm gonna read um, question about the actress. There it is in your question, Andrew. This actress played four roles in the 1975 Trilogy of Terror. Again, this actress played four roles in the 1975 film Trilogy of Terror. Name her. Yes, that must be Karen Black. Karen Black is right. Good job. Here we go. We have $14,000 in the pot and we shuffle. Justin. I'm going to go with Nova Actors, Actresses for the win. All right, it's going to be a two-part question. Answer this two-part question in this category 
on No Vow Actors and Actresses. It'll be Tic Tac Doe, $17,000, and your wins will be at $63,647. Take a look at these two. No Vow Actors and Actresses. That's the first one. The second one. All right, here's the first one. First, who played the role Joey, again, who played the role of Joey Potter on the TV show Dawson Creek? That's the first one. And the second one, who played who played Al Pacino's attorney in the 1993 movie Carlito Way? All right, here's your time for both of them. Here it is. Here's your time to think about both of them. I right, go ahead, Justin. Give me arms. Yeah. You have Tic Tac Doe! Good job! Alright, we have $17,000 for you, Justin. That's your second win. And your wins are at $63,647. And Boris, uh, mute your microphone on the audio for the team here, Boris. Okay. I'm going to have to mute Boris until his turn uh, comes. I'm going to mute him temporarily. All right, Justin. So you have won $63,647. We're going to do the Beat the Dragon game shortly. Andrew, you played a decent game. We'll definitely have you for another game, okay? All right, Justin, you ready to do the Beat the Dragon game? You ready, Justin? Yes, sir. All right, let's do the Beat the Dragon game. Now, I think this is going to be our last game because we're running out of time. Yep. All right, all right, Justin. Yeah, we have nine numbers on the board, as you know. You know to get the $10,000 or get the ticket and attack. All right, and... Let's see what prizes you're in for this time, Justin. They're the following. We have a computer desk, Dell Pentium desktop, a Marlboro cupboard, a spa, a trip to Nashville, another spa, and another spa. And those prizes are total $26,096. You have three spas. And... If you get the ticket and attack on any of your picks, Justin, it's a $45,000 bonus. During your first two picks, we give you a $90,000 bonus, and you have a shot and a new card, Justin, okay? All right. Here we go. Let's cover up the board. If you're ready to go, Justin, go ahead and start picking. Uh, six. Let's see what's behind number six. $1,500. Okay, stop or go. Go. Which Eight. number? Nine. He's going number nine. Let's see what's buying number nine. Five thousand dollars. You have sixty-five hundred. Get thirty-five hundred dollars. You have a prize package again. I'm gonna go. Two. He's going number two. If he has thirty-five hundred dollars by number two, you have the prize package. Let's see what's buying number two. There's the tag. Now you're almost where you was in the last game. Get the tick. We give you a forty-five thousand dollar bonus. Get thirty-five hundred. You just get the prize package. Stop or go. I hope it's in number one. We hope it's in number one too. If tick is buying number one, you have the forty-five thousand dollar bonus. If it is thirty-five hundred dollars or more, you got the prize package. Let's see what's buying number one. There's $2,500. Now, this is your last pick. You're going to either win on this pick or lose on this pick. 
So it's nine thousand dollars to walk away, or you can go on and risk it all for the final pick. He's going for it. Which number? Four. He's going number four. Okay, a thousand dollars will get you the prize package. A tick will give you forty-five thousand dollar bonus and the prize package. Then a shot at a new car. A dragon will get you nothing. Let's see. You did it! Another prize package. Good job, Justin. $12,000 in the prize package. Let's see what a tick and the uh, dragon was. Tick was behind number eight, and the dragon was behind number three. Good job, Justin. So that's another $38,906. We give you your previous winnings of $63,647. That gives you a two game winning total of $102,553. Yes? I won't be here on Friday. You won't be here at all on Friday? I won't be here at all on Friday. Alright, so here's what we're going to do we're going to freeze your winnings up, okay? And what's going to happen is Eric is going to retain his title. And when you come back, you'll get to defend it, okay? All right. All right, guys. And did uh, everybody else have a good time? Yeah. All right. We're plumb out of time because even if we start a new game, we won't have time to do a new game. So this is Rodney1279 signing off saying be safe, be careful. And we're going to try to do a double header on Friday. Um, and we'll see what happens then. Okay, guys? This is Rodney1279 signing off saying be safe, be careful, take care everybody, and stay blessed. Goodbye, y'all. Good job, Justin. Good job. You move up a little bit on the leaderboard, too. Well, I can see where I stand. Yep, here we go. Let's do the closing. And here we go. Now to do my usual outro with face cam. List is just no speaking, but it can do. And why they want to sell nine thousand people? Because it's such a good thing. I also got something to say.